GQ, my favourite shape, we own this thing. It's our car, it's Pro Life car. This is Pro Life car. Today, we're gonna start stripping the patrol. these uh, front chassis rails here. The rust converter started to turn white. Don't know if you can see that, so that's perfect. That's exactly the result we want to see. How much dust we've grinded off? That is a thick boy amount of dust. It's all looking insanely nice. Like that, that one there has just come up insane. Outside of the chassis, just on that S bend there. This piece here goes on the inside. Had the plates welded on, uh, the inside and the outside plate. That plate looks absolutely mint. But once this is dry, I do need to go over the whole chassis with um, probably about 17,000 cans of this. So as you can see here, this is our tail shaft. You can see here that it's rubbing. Up here is what I've wanted to attack for a very long time. Um, we have a pretty big rot hole here. at it for a while now but obviously I've cut the window out I've um, got rid of all the seam sealer in in and underneath it's pretty um, average looking and there's a massive hole under there so have welded the whole seam along here. Pretty much what I need to do is just keep, you know, cutting away until I get this. How's that for a panel? Looks pretty good to me. I am so stoked. Bloody bit panicky last night, but yeah, she's mint. The missing windscreen here, pull the headliner right down, and you can see bits of rust all through here. We've got a clump of rust, more rust up there. Just there, we're missing some paint and some rust, so. No 
nobody has shaved drip rail. Just to be different, that's why I want to leave it. I just think it looks so clean. No, that just looks so good to me. So nice and clean. actually all wiped out, masked up, so it's time to start spraying. Fenders, the back parts, the window wiper, and then we've also got these new mirrors here. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got this uh, black powder coated snorkel, and it looks freaking awesome. I'm so happy with that. Exciting day of the build yet, in my opinion. We are going to fab up a tray.
We now have fully functional gauges. I'm stoked with how that looks. Hey boys, the XR6 seats are in. Suspension's finally going in cold. Dude, that's crazy. That's way more than before. So we're not just fitting any rims and tires. These are 37 by 13 and a half. A true aluminium beadlock. literally makes that look like a stock wheel. That is crazy. 